In the first wave of sanctions after February 24, the United States and more than 30 other countries introduced sweeping export controls on strategic technology items to Russia, including semiconductors, information security and telecommunications systems, electronics, and computers. While Western nations already heavily restricted the export of military or dual-use technology to Russia, the new measures broke fresh ground in the use of export controls as a sanctioning instrument. Now the main directorate of intelligence, Ukraine's military intelligence service, claimed last Tuesday in a post on its official website that it had obtained evidence that invading Russian forces are using microchips made in the United States. According to the post, U.S.-made electronics were found in Russian Panzer air defense systems, Ka-52 alligator attack helicopters and Kh-101 cruise missiles. The Ukrainians claimed that these findings emphasize Russia's dependence on Western technology. They underscore the directorate's previous claims that Western sanctions have disrupted Russian military production. Russia may need to resort to using older components and vehicles due to a lack of key foreign components and that Moscow was attempting to repair old vehicles in order to replace ones that had been lost or destroyed during the invasion. Even if Russia successfully tackles all three problems falling imports, brain drain, and insufficient funding, achieving self-sufficiency in such a complex domain as chips and semiconductors is a tall order. Deep structural changes require lavish financing, ample time to catch up with technological advancement, and a great deal of international cooperation to spur innovations. None of that is possible, as Russia has reached North Korean levels of isolation. Complete onshoring of the industry is impossible in an industry known for complex and globalized processes. Exact details on the stockpiles of critical components are unavailable, but as Russia is heading into a war of attrition, the restrictions will start to bite. Crippling export controls will force Russia to go through something of a reverse industrialization. While in 2014 the government aimed to catch up with the technological advancement of developed countries, today the objective is simpler to rely on less advanced technology. Russia is reportedly ready to deploy Soviet-era T-62 tanks as it is running out of advanced equipment. Without advanced and imported chips, Russia can't restock precision munitions, and so the war in Ukraine will be increasingly shaped by low-quality, non-precision weapons. Thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe. Also, if you want to support Warthog Defense, please become our member and get early access to new videos, exclusive members only videos, and become administrator in comment section. The membership link is in the description. Rescues. Every day we had a guy last week at six rescues in six days. You know, he's doing the job every day.